If Mr. Naga throws a ball vertically upwards, he catches it when it comes back down. Sketch and annotate a, a displacement time graph. So when it leaves my hand, when the ball leaves my hand, it needs to be going upwards quite fast. Um, so we can think of it going upwards at a high velocity. Now this means that on the displacement time graph, we need to have a positive and a steep gradient. So it's going to look something like that on the, on the displacement time graph. But because of gravity, it's going to start slowing down. Okay, it's going to decelerate. So now if it's decelerating, that means we know it's going to be a curve. Okay, so the it's, gradient is going to change. It's going to become less and less steep. And then at the top, it's going to stop for a second where it's, the gradient should be zero. It should be uh, flat. And then it's going to start accelerating downwards. It's going to get faster and faster, but downwards. But that's in the negative direction. So the gradient is going to become negative and steeper and steeper. So the graph looks a bit like this. You can see it starts off very positive uh, and uh, it's moving the positive direction steep and it slows down until it becomes flat on the top and then at the end it's going in the negative direction very fast before just before I catch it which if I, when if I catch it, it will just become zero like this because then it will stop. Okay. Now in this case Mr. Naga then releases a ball from rest allows it to bounce off the ground and catches it when it reaches its maximum height again. Sketch and annotate space, space and time graph. This is only showing the ball bouncing. So if it, when I release it from my hand at rest, that means the start, I need to draw it with no gradient. It needs to be v, velocity equals zero, so that means it should be flat. But then it's going to accelerate downwards. Um, so it's going to get faster and faster downwards. So it's going to have a negative gradient. Uh, because it's going downwards and then it's going to get it's going to keep getting faster downwards because accelerating uh, it's accelerating due to gravity but then all of a sudden it hits the ground where it's, it experiences a force and it's going to quickly change direction it's going to start going upwards now quite fast okay, it stops for a tiny fraction of a second and but, but only it doesn't even show up at the graph it reverses direction and it's going upwards um, it's deep and then it, be, it slows down again due to gravity. The only time when it's um, is there any other force except gravity is when it hits the floor. So the graph looks like this. You can see it's, it's curved because it's accelerating due to gravity. Um, and you can see at the beginning it starts flat and at the end it ends flat as well. And you can see at the end it ends slightly below the height from which you started. That's because when it bounces off the ground it's lost some energy. Uh, it's transferred into surrounding as thermal energy, so it doesn't return to the same height. This is the only point here where there's any other, other force other than gravity. So this is where the force from the ground, which causes it to change direction really suddenly.